Come with us as we take a break from demo work and renovations in our 1920s bungalow by the sea as we head up to London for a night away. Bit of a different video today. We're actually in the apartment. We're about to head off to the train station to head up to London as we're staying up there tonight. I'm actually gonna see some friends first, but what I'm gonna do is take you along with me. I think we're gonna head to Chinatown the Japan Center, and probably just have a bit of a mooch around. Who knows where we're gonna end up. I think we're almost packed. This is what we're living with at the moment. So when we've like finished renovating in the bungalow, at the end of the day, we come back home and we're just surrounded by boxes. So if I just show you my little outfit, I've got my turtleneck from H&M. Pretty sure this cardigan is from ASOS. We went to Blue Water Friday. Oh, wait, do excuse my dirty mirror. <laughs> but I picked up these really nice, like heart shaped earrings and then my shoes from Mango. I'm really liking their stuff at the moment. And then these jeans are from H&M as well, but they're all right. They're not my favorites. <laughs> Windows down, scattered clouds, smell it's so of nice spring. Today. It's like basically spring. <laughs> You've got an app on your phone, haven't you? Um, Where you can like using... organize assistance like, yeah, to get on the train. Passenger assist. Um, yeah, I've just seen some other people in wheelchairs using it, and it essentially sends a notification, I think, to the that station just so they're, they know they're expecting someone who needs assistance. So I have requested that I need a wheelchair space on the train and I need a ramp. So I assume they then just know what to get ready. And there's lots of other things I think you can select yeah, if you're like deaf or something. Really or, cool. Know, yeah. At the moment, it's so nice to be at the bungalow, do all of our, our things and then sort of enjoy what's going to be our lifestyle at some point, having the beach literally. I think it's like a five minute walk. But when it's like days like this, I think I'm definitely gonna miss these like river walks into town. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. But to be honest, if you're from Kent, then you probably know Maidstone and it's not like the nicest place. But this side is quite nice to be fair. Open road, you sit in close. Let's go somewhere far away As if all I have is you And I'll be just fine She lives in like high, so she just blah, blah, she just gave us a contact for like a handyman, didn't she? We're forever thinking about the build. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, that's quite handy actually. She, she had a flat in high that she rents out but stays there sometimes. She also runs a grazing company, so we're kind of thinking like maybe when we do our like housewarming party, we could like get her and yeah, like, oh. yeah. Oh, I look really tired. <laughs> I am quite tired today actually from yesterday's renovation. So now we're just going to head to the hotel, aren't we? 
So a fair few hours have passed now, but I had a really nice time with my friends. Had a bit of chill time on the bed. I feel so tired still. <laughs> But what I think we're gonna do now is actually head out. We need to go and get dinner and we really wanna go to the Japan center. So we're gonna go get some snacks. I think there's a place where you can actually eat as well. So we're gonna have dinner, do some snack shopping. There's also, I feel like a lifestyle section. So you can buy things like ramen bowls, chopsticks, things like that. And I kind of, I kind of wanted to look at some maybe to buy today maybe not so yeah we're gonna get ready and then head out i'll um quickly show you our hotel room because when we dropped off our bag it was too early to officially check in so let me show you the hotel now mural is quite a nice one just cheap and cheerful it's called hub by premier inn and we're right near covent garden into the bathroom all the lights which is quite cute and then it's great because obviously James needs an accessible bathroom. It's a really nice size. Yeah, just got all the space that we need. Right, I'll get James up and then we'll start heading out. Right, I think...
Oh, I can't wait to devour this. The Japan Center. It was really good. I think because it had center in the name. I think I built up a lot more in my head and then when we got there, it was a little bit of a letdown, I'm not gonna lie. Some of the stuff was a bit overpriced. But I don't know if we'd go back there again. But saying that, we did pick up a fair few snacks and we got a really good selection, which we're gonna try all before we go to sleep. Oh. Oh, hang on, let me get the door. Hey. Hey. They're gonna check. Oh. So James went down to reception to try and get some more pillows. Because to be honest, we're two pillows each type of people. We've only got one and it's a little bit on the thin side. Yay! So they found some pillows for us. We definitely need two pillows each. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot more interesting. I didn't want to shove the camera in my friend's faces earlier, so I didn't really capture much for the video. But tomorrow we're gonna have a bit of a mooch, aren't we? I'm gonna see some like homeware shops and there's also a bakery and it's called Fortitude Bakery and they have really good, I think they're called Bernays, no, Bernays, Bernays, Burnets. I don't know how you, they look really good. They're like filled with like cream. I think there's like strawberry ones that you can get and it's like this massive donut looking thing, but it's got like cream in the middle. It looks absolutely delicious. Although I know that James isn't a big sweet tooth like I am. Give me a good but it's fine, as long as they've got good coffee. Yeah, they'll, it looks like that sort of place where they have like good coffee and all the pastries that you can think of. <laughs> so if you're watching this, last week's video I actually filmed yesterday, if that makes any sense. So yeah, we're still trying to kind of catch up on just the craziness of what was yesterday. For you it was last week, where we, we took up all of the flooring in what was the bathroom and it's now just part of the hallway. But yeah, anyway, let's just try some snacks. So these are what James picked. Ooh, they smell good. The sniff. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you like? I'm James chilling. doesn't want to be on camera. It's, I'm just, I'm chilling. Um, okay. They literally taste like ready salted crisps. What? No, they don't. They, to me, they do. Okay. There's no curry flavour in that. There's a little bit. There's a tang. For like whatever they were at five hours. <laughs> don't get them. <laughs> but they yeah. are they are they still are nice good. Though. But if you want them to be curry fried, let's have a look. Don't get them. Is, there's like. Mm, yeah, it's not even a full bag, it's like half a bag. Oh, yeah, and then look. You just basically <laughs> get a bag of air. So, don't get these ones. <laughs> there's a kick though, there's like an aftertaste of like, have you got that yet? A slight, I don't even want to say heat, but it's just a very slight warming. They're actually quite nice. They are really good, but if you want it to be like pungent and punchy, they're, they're not the ones. The next ones, I'm pretty sure, oh, I just opened them and they smell really they're good. Soy. soy, like crispy rice cracker balls, I think they're called. Well, described as anyway. Oh. Oh, okay. They're individually wrapped. There you go, for money. They're like mini snacker jack type things. Yeah. Okay. A lot Oh, that was else. really crunchy. This is not, okay, I'm gonna have to hold it. I guess the good thing is, now we've opened the bag, the rest of them are gonna stay fresh. This is true. But I don't like all the extra plastic. No, that just seems a bit silly in my opinion. They're just like very thick mm. snacker jacks. Quite tasty though. Yeah, I can imagine these being really Moorish. Would I recommend these? I thought they need something. If they were a little bit spicy. Mm. Well, I've just had my curry afterwards and they're much better. Oh, okay. Right. Now this is my favorite bit. Sweet stuff. The sweet stuff. And I really want to try these. Rice biscuit, strawberry flavor. I really like the packaging actually. It's got like a little gold bottom here and then a cute cross pattern on the top. Ooh, a gold packet. Oh, okay. Let me try. They're almost like shortbread. Oh, okay. 
smell strawberry. God, this is going to be crumbly as well. Mm. That would have gone nice with my tea earlier. Mm. Very subtle strawberry flavour. The more you get into it's it, strawberry build. I really like that. I was hoping actually that they would have, you see them a lot on TikTok, but there's these like sort of like strawberry sandwiches that you can get in like 7-Elevens in Japan. And they just look so good. And I was kind of hoping that they would have something like that in the Japan center, but they didn't, unfortunately. I would recommend them. They're really good. Cheesecake flavored Pocky Sticks. What? They're not Pocky Sticks, but I mean, they're very similar. Oh. The smell is, oh, that's a good start. Oh, you can have that. I'm not sure if I like the smell of these. Mm. Oh, there's like, I mean, you won't be able to see it, but there's actually cheesecake within it. That's pretty good. The smell is not, not good. No? Well, it's, it'll smell okay. I guess it is what a cheesecake smells of. Yeah, they smell a bit cheesy. Uh, it is a bit cheesy. What is it, cream that cheese? That sounds Is it cream cheese, cheese inside? Yeah. Like Philadelphia. Yeah, basically that. Oh, I don't like that. I like it. I don't like that at all. Really? Yeah, so that's what they look like. I personally wouldn't have them again, but I feel like... I'm in a month really. <laughs> James is really enjoying them. Okay. I feel like everyone who does like Japanese snack hauls has included Pocky because it's just so good. And this is the um, chocolate banana one. And I think I've actually had this one before, like years ago. And you can't, you can't really go wrong with a Pocky. A pack of Pocky. 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 And it's gonna have a little stick of it. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, I mean, it's artificial banana, but it's so Weird. good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Do you not like it? I, I don't mean, dislike it. It's just weird. The smell, I mean, it's it's really strong with that fake banana smell, but it just reminds me of foam, foam bananas that you get from like a pick mm. mix. I like a banana yogurt. I'm not sure. Definitely recommend them. It doesn't look very Japanese or oriental, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen this on the counter of Starbucks. Oh, you just know that these are going to be good. There you are. Mm. Oh, oh, there is some stuff in there. Mm. It doesn't excite me, but it is good. Yeah, it's just quite plain. Mm. It needs more of what the filling is. Yeah. They do actually have other flavours as well. So it says they do chocolate and matcha, so I feel like they might actually work better. I think these would be nice with a coffee. Mm. But that's about it. Right, last ones. The cutest little Marla's March. With vanilla milk inside little biscuits. Mm. I'm looking forward to this mm. one. Hopefully we end on like a good one. If not, I'm going back to my crisps. And I've got my <laughs> strawberry biscuit from earlier that I saved. Oh, that's really cute. But the packet's got like little stairs on it. No. The packet's got little koalas on it. I don't know if you can see that. I said bears. Oh, bears. No, they're not. not the they're bears. Well, these are interesting. I recognise this type of like, this drawing, not this drawing, but like this style. Cute, oh, God, I've dropped it. Hang on. Right, you have that Probably one. Pretty good. Again. Probably good with coffee. Like the other ones. These two are actually really similar. Yeah, they taste really similar. It's like a spaghetti bolognese lasagna situation. It's like yeah. the same component, but they're just put together differently. Mm. Yeah, really good. There's a lot more filling in these as well. I'm gonna finish off my little biscuit and then we'll probably just get properly ready for bed. But I'll catch you bright and early tomorrow for more London exploration. Maybe not so early. But yeah, I shall see you tomorrow. Morning everyone. 
so we are on our way now to Fortitude Bakery to get some breakfast. We did actually end up having a coffee in the hotel. But yeah, we're just having a bit of an explore, aren't we, before we get there. Some cute little streets around. a Danish with cool. like raspberry cheesecake flavour Danish uh, and then in here oh no this is the Veronay oh this must be the sticky cine cinnamon bun sticky cinnamon bun yeah it looks so good mm. yeah I thought that was actually a bit more you mm. you won't like this no okay that's fine that's gone <laughs> I'm gonna try this. Yeah? Well, the colour is really cute. Yeah? I feel it got two. It's really good. <laughs> Eat a um, raspberry as well. Okay, one more bite. Yeah, <laughs> we can have it. Now, this is actually the thing that I wanted to come to Fortitude for the Bernay. All of that rich cream. Oh my god, that's really good. Don't know how I'm gonna eat it. It's like a donut with loads of cream in the middle. It's gonna go everywhere, I just know. This is literally the power of TikTok because I saw this and then I've been going on about it, haven't I? You have, yeah. I think it was worth it. It was a shame they weren't accessible. Ooh. Is what it is. It's a bit windy today. Oh, there's actually jam in the middle. Look how big this is. Oh. Like compared to my head. It's quite windy. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's quite hard actually. Mm. I should have brought some napkins. Ah, it's all over the here. Yeah, maybe like right outside when we do the driveway, yeah, we have, good. although that's probably going to get right in the way, isn't it? Yeah, that's true, they're quite big. I like the texture though. Yeah, that's really nice. I like this. Getting all the inspiration today. Oh my God, that's really nice. Oh, I like these um, poles. Oh, a little bit stiff. Oh no, what have I done? There you go. Oh wow. Although we don't need a TV. No, we still need to get the one that's upstairs in the loft down somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it looks like that, wow. isn't it? Just smaller. Just like... We might have to sand it down and restain it. Ooh. Oh. So I've seen these before. I think they're called like petrified wood, which is really cool. Ooh. Oh yeah, look, there you go, petrified wood. <laughs> 98 pounds put in that book. <laughs> I love things like this where it's like all the different glazing going on to it. It looks a little bit more handmade. They're quite nice. Oh, this is nice. I really like this. I think this is like mango wood. Yeah. It'd be cute if it had like a glass top on it, like a dome lid. So you could put like cakes in there and put it on the side in the kitchen. Quite heavy. That one's heavier. Yeah. Heavier than that one. Twenty-two pounds. I think I prefer the dark one. Oh, that's like a thicker rim, actually. I'm not really loving that pink. But that's quite. Mm, actually, moving up. <laughs> the gold's a little bit too bright, isn't it? Needs to be a bit more brassy. Mm. Wow, this is interesting. Bowl of balls. <laughs> oh, 
these look quite nice. Brownie again. Oh, I can smell it's got like duck feathers in it. I'm not really a fan of that. These are in a sale bit. Ah, oh, pink. Nah, if it was orange, maybe. I like these door hooks. No classic mid-century style mirror. Just spotted this drinks table. We're in really like the, I think it's mango wood. Oh no, walnut, walnut bottom. The gold and little marble top. Yeah, I really like that. What do you think of this one? With the walnut bottom? What is it, a side table? It's like a drinks table. table. It looks very Soho home actually. Really like this bedside cabinet because it's got like this like wicker bottom and I've just tried to like open up the drawer and it feels really solid. I don't know if I can actually try and do something similar to this. Hmm, giving me ideas this one. One thing I mentioned in my design video was having a end of the bed bench. It's got like little breathable parts that actually stay open. It feels really cushiony as well. It's got enough space to do it. I like the little legs, they're more like brassy gold than that really bright newish, newish one that we saw. Yeah, this is nice. I really like this chair and it's kind of the same green that we wanted to go for because there's a sophology sofa that we saw in a similar green but I don't know, I'm having moments of like worrying about if it's too much of a statement because <laughs> it feels like more of a accent colour doesn't it? Yeah, I, I, I don't like know. Both, like, cool. Okay, like maybe. Short time. Yeah, maybe once we get to that stage of decorating, I'll feel a little bit more brave again. Oh, this is giving me so home vibes as well with the um, yellow button. I've just spotted Christmas decorations. <laughs> oh, look how fuzzy that one is. Oh my god, are these yetis? Oh my god, that's so cute. Black table with the... This is a really nice combination. Yeah, I do like black tables. Yeah, and I like it when it's all sort of like lightened up with the wood from the chairs. And then I've also just spotted this checkerboard rug, which is so nice. Definitely gonna have to add that into the living room at some point. God. Yeah, I feel like I look really unwell. <laughs> Rattan one, that is really nice. I did actually buy some vintage table lamps for the guest bedroom. I need to figure out what actual lampshades I'm gonna go for. I do like this, kind of like more vintage style. I really like these, although I wish they're not gonna be kind of fitting into our colour palette, but I'm learning French at the moment and have been for like over a year now, so. Yeah, they're really cute. Just wish they were like in our colour palette. Maybe like a green or even like a blue. Very cute. That bed looks so comfortable. <laughs> it's gonna be so exciting as well when we actually have our bathrooms and we can start buying things like this, like towels, figure out like the colour scheme.
We have just had the best fried chicken in this place, which is in Carnaby. So if you ever come here and you fancy chicken, definitely come here. Really like that drinks table. All this artwork. Love this unit as well. How nice this candle is as well. All the terrazzo bits. And it smells really nice as well. You say lemon balm, white honey and coriander one. Look how cute these mugs are. Good decent sized cup of coffee in that. We are going to go for this because I've been waiting for this to come out. It's the third in Soho House's series. Oh, it's going to give us a lot more inspiration as well for the bungalow. Slowly but surely we started making our way back to the hotel to get our suitcase and wait for our train home. This was such a nice trip and I think we really needed it after working so hard on the bungalow. We will be back next week to carry on with all of those exciting renovation plans. And thank you so much for watching this video if you've got to the end of this video as I know it's a pretty long one this week. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye guys.